Welcome back into Wizards Media Day. Haley Mylon alongside Jamoke Davis on the practice court at the Verizon Center. Guys, hope you're still using the hashtag WizMediaDay so we can hear from you. We want to hear all your questions. We have a guest joining us now. Coach Whitman, how you doing today? Good, good, guys. How are you? Good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Coach, what are you looking for going into training camp? I mean, what are you guys expecting this week? Nothing different than what we have the last couple of years. It's a matter of uh, building on what we've done, uh, setting ourselves from a standpoint of what's important for us uh, right from the start, which is a, a defensive mentality. So uh, it, it's really just trying to continue to build the uh, continuity of what we've done, the core we've basically been able to keep together. We've added pieces around it that should really uh, benefit uh, us this year. We're excited about that, but it's a matter of continuing uh, to do the things we've done the last couple of years. And, and, you know, you have a really good thing in that you have three players deep at almost every position to be able to manage the roster, who's on the court, depending on the situation. Yeah, well, that's always good. Flexibility and uh, versatility are, are, are two things as a coach that uh, you love to have. And uh, what we've done here in, in uh, adding the pieces we have has given us a lot of flexibility um, to play a lot of different people at a lot of different spots. Um, so uh, that's always going to be that's going to be an intriguing thing. Uh, learning uh, the combinations uh, as we get started here. Coach, you have three seasoned veterans who are coming into the mix. How easy is that to have guys who who can make the transition to a new organization, um, adding them into the training camp mix? Yeah, well, I, I, I think it makes it easier. Obviously, uh, a guy like Paul Pierce has been in every kind of uh, uh, system that there there is. So uh, I don't think it's going to take him long to understand what – we're doing here and how we're doing it uh, as well as the other guys anytime you got veteran guys that have been around the block a little bit i think it's a little bit smoother transition rather than a young guy who's kind of uh wet behind the ears still uh learning uh, what what the nba is all about these guys have been around the block and uh you know that i think would be make the tr transition a little bit smoother you you made the interesting comment talking about last season that after losing to indiana in game three you were encouraged by the reaction yeah. from the players to losing. Can you just elaborate on that and why that yeah. will help them this well, year? Well, you just never know. I mean, obviously for a lot of us, it's the first time experience of playing in the playoffs. And, uh, you know, nobody really gave us a chance against Chicago and you, you, you beat Chicago and then take Indiana to six games. Sometimes when the season's over, you kind of reflect back right away. And, and I, I was anticipating maybe that, being happy with what they were did what they did last year but i saw the disappointment uh in in their eyes of that they felt they could have done more and that was that's encouraging to me that they you know j just weren't happy of getting to the second round i think they felt that they let indiana uh off the hook a little bit if we could have done anything in, in taking care of home court um you know who knows we, we could have been in the eastern conference finals so I want that hunger now. Uh, we got to learn from that. Be take the pauses away from last year, what it, what it was. But now, are we going to build on that, or are we going to be happy uh, with what we did? Do you remember media day as a player at all? Yeah, oh yeah. It's always the start. Um, you know, this always signifies uh, the beginning. <laughs> and uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it uh, hasn't really changed that much um, over the years. A lot more people now, obviously with the media and social media being the way it is, but uh, it, it was pretty much the same. All right, we're gonna we're gonna give you a package now. We're gonna send you into, uh, what are we showing, Wiz Media Day? We're gonna go with Jeremy Hyman with social media. Coach talked about social media. What do we have? Question, comment? All right, Coach, the, uh, the fans are excited. They're ready for another season. They they saw they watched what happened this summer with uh, with Otto and Glenn and they wanted to know do, how do you see them sort of working their way into the lineup this season and becoming more acclimated and well they they had a really good uh, summer that that's encouraging they're going to dictate to me how they're going to uh, what what they're going to be able to do what minutes they're going to I I think there's going to be an opportunity there all right for both those guys mm -hmm. um, now what they do with that is is. Uh, really the biggest thing and, and they, they dictate dictate that to me but I've, I've been ex they've had both had great summers I think they're going to be ready to step up and, and, and contribute and uh, we'll see if that works out 
Coach, thanks so much for taking the time to sit down with us. I know you have a busy day coming up. Mm -hmm. Guys, keep using the hashtag WizMediaDay. We want your questions. Coming up next, Nene is going to sit down with us. So if you have questions for him, get on Twitter. Start using the hashtag WizMediaDay. We'll be right back after a break. Visit WashingtonWizards.com.